Hey everybody, try to be good here. Guess who's waiting for us in the backyard? Guess who's... <laughs> Hi boy! Hi boy! Hi boy! Come on! Come on! Up! Up there! Up there! Up here! Up here! Oh, there you go! <laughs> Hi boy! Hey boy! Hey! Oh! Oh, you! You tamper you! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Hey boy! Hey boy! Hey! Shake, shake! Other side! Other Okay, shake! Ah, good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Other side! No? <laughs> Holy smoky stampers! Holy smokies! What is that? What do you have there? Huh? What is this? Is this for your food? What is this, boy? Holy smokies! That's a lot of shrimp. Really? What's the shrimp doing out here, boy? Uh-oh! Look at that! Uh-oh! Looks like barbecue time! Right? Now let's fire it up. Alright, many of you have been asking to how much this pit boss uh, cost. I think I remember somewhere around $500 range. I bought it at a uh, oh, Menards. Minards are easily accessible or available in Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota, Indiana, Ohio, and a few other places. So, okay, just to be clear, this is a pellet grill it runs on pellets it's not electric but in order for the computer to work of course it needs a power supply it needs uh, 120 volts now when I turn this on um, that's, uh, that's all you gotta do you don't have to light it you don't have to mess with it when you turn this on there's a like a heater electric heater element in there that heats up and gets the fire started once the fire is already running then the electricity of that heater turns off and then just the computer and the fan um, is the one that runs and consumes the uh, electric it's purely 100% pellet uh, driven uh, barbecue plate thing. If you guys are wondering why do we plug it in inside, well, because the outlet outside of this house are all, they're all kaput. There's something about the circuit breaker downstairs that for some reason it trips the, uh, even without any load, it trips the breaker downstairs and I can't find it and the uh, I don't know we're not desperate for it so all right uh, b -b 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 what am I gonna do 
One of the things that I gotta do is I gotta clean this. Well, surely you guys don't wanna see this, do you? Eh, maybe. I'll show you what the uh, inside looks like. You stay here, boy. Okay. This is the, uh, this is the oven or the heat exchanger. And this is the ash. As you can see, there's, there's really not a whole lot of dirt or ashes here. This is, uh, I think, two or three cooks, and that's all the ashes that there is. So, it's not like a charcoal grill that you gotta empty it all the time. But it's important that you empty this little chamber here, because if you don't, what happens is, all the ashes will start flying and uh, it will get into your barbecue and it will should get a whip back and suck this up but that'd be all right. The important thing is over here there's a there's a fan that goes in there blows it up there and that's what creates the uh, that's what creates the the the, the flare-up so see that as you can see it's empty right now but there's an auger There's an auger that runs, look at the pellets right there, see it? It's 
put it on high. There's a heating filament inside that little tube. You know what I gotta do? I hate getting the vacuum out. I'm gonna bore a hole right here. That way I could slide the, I could just slide the ashes down there. Uh, I can start smelling it now. It takes a little bit. See the auger? What I could do is I just do a little dust pan, I guess, and I can feel the heat out of it now. You might want to speed this up a little bit. You guys are wondering this is uh, all natural wood hickory there there it is and it gets really smoky I tell you And that's pretty much it. If you want to know more about this, um, it's available on YouTube. You could YouTube this. Oof. Wrong way. I think. I think. No. Can't be. It's the other way. It's the other way. It's got a thermostat here, a little thermostat there, nothing to it. So let's put this on 400 and that's the current temperature inside right now. 
All right, I got to get going. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.